Hello, Word Nerds! Happy Thursday! If you've followed Kidlet authors for any significant amount of time on Twitter, you have probably heard of the AlphaSmart Neo. It is a little keyboard tool that was previously used to teach students how to type and has recently become an obsession of authors everywhere, it seems. It is particularly having a moment on Twitter right now. I've seen a lot of people talking about it over the past couple of months, and fortunately, a couple months ago on a whim, I bought one. And so I'm gonna review it for you today. People on the interwebs claim that this thing makes you write so much faster. It makes you write all the time. You can carry it with you anywhere. Is that true? Kind of. So I have the AlphaSmart Neo 2, which is what most of the Twitter peoples are using. I can give you a little close up here. How do I get close up? Okay. So as you can see, it's just a basic keyboard. You've got little file sections, so you can have different files open. I believe it can hold about 10,000 words on each file, so about 80,000 words total. So as you can see, I've turned it on and I have a file open and you can see about four lines of text. I could open up file seven, which should be empty, or I could go to file one, which is a different book. Once you want to transfer things to your computer, it comes with a little cord and so you plug it in and it emulates a keyboard on your computer. And so what you have to do is you have to have a word processor open uh, you plug this in and you hit send, which is over here. You hit send, it goes, yay. There are some pros and cons. Pros, I really love how I'm able to bring it with me anywhere. I do feel like it has opened up new opportunities for me to write and I don't think it's just because it's a new shiny thing. Like I said earlier, I got this about two months ago, so I waited a little bit to really see how it would affect my writing with the understanding that there is the limitation of me being in the middle of revisions right now, so it's not all new scenes all the time. But I have used this for all of the new scenes that I've been writing during revisions, and I do feel like I've written in instances when I wouldn't have before. I was able to sit on the back porch and just write and have no distractions, and that was amazing. It's got fun little shortcuts here so you can check your word count, so you can do all the things that you would probably want to do. There are a couple cons to working in the AlphaSmart Neo 2, the biggest one being you can't format anything. That's probably a pro for events like Nano. NaNoWriMo, but it's, it's a big con in revisions when I've just finished this whole new scene and I kind of immediately have to go in and format everything the way I want it to be formatted. Another major downside that I've come across that I don't think everyone has had this problem, but some people definitely have based on the reviews of the product, but I have a little bit of a difficult time getting it over onto my computer. It definitely took some finagling to figure out what I needed to be doing. The problem with that being that this is a much older piece of machinery and I am, it's 2020 this year and I'm operating on Windows 10 and it doesn't always want to recognize this as a keyboard. This was a source of much anxiety at first, but then I realized the trick that I have to do is just, I have to plug this in and restart my computer. If I plug this in, restart my computer, immediately open Google Docs, which is the word processor that I use then it connects fine to the computer. But like I mentioned earlier, it was a great source of anxiety at first that it wasn't going to work. I'm not sure if this is the machine's problem or if it's the cord's problem. Since I figured out the restarting the computer hack, I don't care enough to pay for a new cord. I'm never really worried that it's gonna lose my work because it has so few functions. <laughs> like it's, it only does one thing and its number one job is to keep the words saved and I haven't had any problems with that in the past. And so for me personally, if something happens with the cord and a new one doesn't fix it and I'm unable to get it over, I'm not concerned. I'll be able to just type it up. I always transfer my work over either right after I finish writing or the next morning. So if you think you might be interested in this product but you're worried about the cord, just keep that in mind. Just like anything, back up your work often. So yeah, overall, I really like the AlphaSmart Neo 2. I have high hopes that it's going to be incredibly useful during the month of November. I'm sure you'll hear me talk about it more in our write-ins in November. I've put links below to places where you can find this tool if you're interested and you weren't sure where to find it because you have to buy it used. This isn't an affiliate or anything. I just saw a lot of people talking about it and then got some birthday money and so I figured I'd try it out. Yeah, let me know if you use this tool down in the comment section. Does it 
it work for you? Do you like it? Do you recommend it? And also if you have any other writing tools that you think are must-have productivity hacks, let me know about those in the comments as well. Be sure to tune in this Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time for our live chat. It's October, which means Preptober. We are doing a character building workshop and it's gonna be so much fun. So I hope to see you all then and until then, stay nerdy.